good day to all of you i hope that you remember whatever has been taught to you so far in this class besides doing practice you will also be learning something new as you know on the first day of class you learn new things and then you practice what you have learned what you have learned so far is a very important part of impress and in future you can use this for doing your office work this will be very useful for you so let us now do some revision before beginning the class can you tell which command you will use for slide show for slide show you will use the f5 key can you tell what happens with side bar and how can you hide it using side bar you can hide or show the layout to hide it you will first click on the view menu and then select the side bar option to hide the layout can you tell what will you need to do to make the impress view normal if it gets changed to get the slide view into normal view first of all we need to click on view and then select the normal option this will change the view of your file back to normal can you tell what happens with the header and footer with the header and footer you can insert date and time a title or heading and slide number on your slide can you tell what happens with zoom with zoom you can increase or decrease the size of your slide based on your requirement you can set the size of the slide can you tell why we use the field option using the field option you can insert date and time slide number page count etc on your slide now all of you switch on your computer and open the impress file using the method taught to you let us begin today's class have you all been able to open the impress file today you will practice what you learned in the previous class and you will also learn about the insert menu options for inserting the hyperlink and pictures come let us begin the revision now next all of you insert four slides and type the paragraph being shown to you in the first slide in the second slide practice using the font work gallery if you face a problem learn by watching the video tip of this video let us now practice the use of font work gallery so to practice the use of font work gallery first let us get a blank slide by clicking on new slide we get a blank slide and we can click on the blank layout blank slide layout so now we have a blank layout slide we come to the font work gallery option in the bottom uh, row and then we see many styles of font work available to us click on the one which we like click on okay and you see font work written in a specific style on your slide now you can click in the middle of this and type in the text that you want for instance we are typing welcome or welcome to computer shiksha if we want to do it in two lines we'll type welcome to and then click on enter and then type the other line and then when we click on the side of this text on our slide you will see that this text that we have typed 
comes in the shape of the font work that we have selected. Now, from the font work toolbar which appears on the left upper side, you can also change many things. You can click here and see, set it in a different font work style. Or from here, you can change the alignment of the text. You can make it closer or loose or normal as is shown in the video. So there are many options here, very loose, normal, tight. So you can choose whichever you like. Again, as is being shown here, if we want a different style, if we want to apply it in a different style, we can use that. And this is how, also with the line and filling uh, toolbar, we can change the colors inside our text. For instance, right now we have selected hatching and we have changed the way it appears. This is how you can use font work gallery. Now, go ahead and show how you will change the slide view and then bring it back to normal view. If you are facing a problem, then watch the video and do it with its help. With the help of this video, let us see how we can change the view of our slide and then also change it back to normal view. Right now, the view that you are seeing in the video is in the normal view. If you click on the other view types, which is outline, notes, handout, slide sorter, it will change to another view. So, we, when we click on outline, this is what happens. When we click on notes, you get the notes view. Handout, you get these boxes. And slide sorter, you see the slides like in the slide pane. And when you click on normal, you will bring back the slide into normal view. Now, show how you will hide the sidebar. If you face a problem, take the help of the video to hide the sidebar. With this video, we will see how we can hide the sidebar or the slide layout. So, take your pointer to the view menu in the menu bar, click on it. And then click on the sidebar option. As soon as you click there, as is being shown in the video, you will notice that the slide layout on the right side of your slide gets hidden. So, this is how you can hide the slide bar. Next, show how you will hide the slide pane. If you face a problem, Take the help of the video to hide the slide pane. With this video, we will learn how to hide the slide pane. So, again to hide the slide pane, we have to take our pointer to the view menu in the menu bar. Click on that. And then from the options which are available to you, click on the slide pane option. As soon as you click on the slide pane option, you will see that the slide pane which was on our left side of the slide gets hidden. This is how you use slide pane. Next, all of you show how you will use the toolbar to hide the drawing bar, line and filling and the standard toolbar show how you can hide the ruler. If you face a problem, take the help of the video to hide the ruler. With this video, let us learn how we can hide the various toolbars. So, to hide the toolbars in our impress file, take your pointer to the view menu and then bring it to toolbar option. You see a box opens in which you can see some toolbars are already selected. So, to hide the drawing toolbar, 
click on drawing and you will see that your drawing toolbar gets hidden. Again, take the pointer to view, bring it to toolbars, click on line and filling and the line and filling toolbar gets hidden. Once again, take it to view, bring it to toolbars and this time, Let's hide the standard toolbar by clicking on standard and the toolbar gets, gets hidden. So this is how you can hide various toolbars. Now to hide the ruler from our slide presentation, we take our pointer to the view menu, click on that and then click on the ruler option. So as soon as you click on the ruler option, you will see that the rulers on both sides of the slide get hidden. Next, use the header and footer to insert the date and time and page number on your slide. If you face a problem, watch the video. By watching this video, let us practice the use of the header and footer for our slides. So to insert the header and footer, we take our pointer to the view menu in the menu bar, left click on it and from the options which are shown, click on the header and footer option. As soon as you click, a box opens, the slide option is already selected here. Now since we have to insert a footer, we go to the footer text box and we can type the text that we want to appear as footer text on our slide. You notice that already the date and time are pre-selected, so we don't have to change anything. Just click on slide number and apply all. And you can see that the page number gets applied on our slide. Now. If you click on the notes view, you can see in the notes that the header, the page number and the footer are there. And if you click on the, also you can see in the slide, you have the footer as well as the page number. Now, show all the options that you had hidden earlier. If you have a doubt, then watch the video and learn from it. With the help of this video, let us now see how we can bring back all the ruler and toolbar options that we had hidden. So we want to show them, bring your pointer to view and then click on the sidebar option. As soon as you click, the slide layout on the right side of the slide is shown again. Again, click on view and click on the slide pane option. And on the left side of the slide, you will see that our slide pane gets shown again. Again, come to view and this time bring your pointer to toolbars and click on drawing. And you will see that the drawing option below the slide up reappears or gets shown. Once again, go to toolbars and this time let's click on the standard toolbar and the standard toolbar appears again. You can hold the left button down on the standard toolbar and then drag it towards the left as is shown in the video. Again, go to view option, come to toolbars and now we need to click on line and filling option. Since the line and filling toolbar option is not being shown, just click on the left side of this bar here and then just move it up and down and your line and filling toolbar also reappears. Next, go back to the view option, click on that and then click on the rulers and you will see that the rulers get displayed or get shown again. So this is how you can bring back the toolbars and the ruler and the slide pane and slide layout. And now go ahead and make a duplicate slide of any one slide. 
If you have a problem doing this, then learn from the video. Let us watch this video to see how we can take a duplicate slide. To take a duplicate slide, let's first select the slide number 2 for which we want to take the duplicate slide. So click on that and then bring your pointer to the insert option of the Mino bar. Click on that and then click on the duplicate slide option. As soon as you click here, you will see that a third slide gets added to our impress file, which is exactly the same as the second slide. So this is how you can get a duplicate slide in your presentation. Next, show how you will delete the duplicate slide that you just made. If you have a problem doing this, then learn from the video. With the help of this video, let us now know how we can delete the slide. So, first select the slide that you want to delete, the third slide we want to delete. And you can do it by two methods, by right clicking on it and then clicking on delete slide or by going to the edit menu in the menu bar and then clicking on the delete slide option. This way your slide gets deleted. Now bring up a new slide and now let's learn about hyperlink. Do you know why we use hyperlink? Using hyperlink, you can link any file to your file by giving the hyperlink in your file. And then you can open that file using the hyperlink and work on it. You will use hyperlink in the same way as you have learned earlier in the writer module. Let us now watch the video and learn how to use hyperlink. With the help of this video, let us see how we can insert a hyperlink and how we use it. To insert a hyperlink, let's first take another new slide in our presentation. And now we have a new slide, a blank slide. Now, take your pointer to the insert option in the menu bar, click on that and then click on the hyperlink option here as is being shown in the video. Once you click a box opens and it shows where you want to take your document from, the file from, whether it is from internet, mail and news, new document or documents. Since we want to take it from documents, we will click on the documents option. Then click on this point uh, icon here for open file. When you click, you will see many files open up here in this box. Now you decide where you want to, which location you want the file to be picked up from. From the desktop or from documents or from recent places. Since we want from documents, we click on documents and many files are shown in documents. We can use the scroll bar to go up and down and then select the file that we want. We want the CS file to be hyperlinked to our impress file. So we click on that and then we click on open. Once we click on open, you see that your files link is here shown here. Click on apply and then click on close and you will see that the hyperlink is put in your slide. Now to open it, keep the control button pressed with your left hand and when you bring the pointer to the file name, a small hand type of symbol will appear. Click the left button for a couple of seconds, for two seconds and this file opens as is being shown in the video. This file opens and you can see or you can work on this file now. The CS file has opened. Since we don't want to make any changes right now, we will just close this file. And this is how we have insert a hyperlink. We can insert a hyperlink and use it in our presentation.
Let us now watch a video to learn about inserting a picture. With the help of this video, let us see how we can insert pictures on our slides. So to insert a picture, first let us bring up a new slide in our presentation, which we do by clicking on the last slide, on the clicking right click and then selecting new slide. So we get a blank slide. Now take your pointer to insert option, click on that and then come to the picture option. And from here, click on from file, since we want the picture to come from a file. So here you see pictures which have opened from the picture location on our, in our uh, computer. If you want, you can select the location where your picture is. It could be on desktop, downloads. Now from pictures, we select the picture and click on OK. And the picture gets inserted on our slide. Now you see there are some green dots around this picture and also a drawing toolbar has appeared for picture toolbar has appeared. With the help of the dots you can move your picture or resize it as is being shown in the video and with the toolbar you can make many changes. For instance if you want to change the background color. So you can select the color from here and if you select let's say pink or magenta and click on OK, you will notice that the background color changes a little bit. Again, there is a crop picture option and with that you can crop the picture which means you can cut its size to suit your requirement. This is how you will insert a picture in your slide. Today's class ends here. Close your impress file and properly shut down your computer. In today's class, you learned and practiced some of the options of the view menu such as normal, outline, slide sorter, slide show, handout page, note page, sidebar, slide pane, toolbar, grid, header and footer and zoom. And you also learned about some of the options of the insert menu like hyperlink and inserting a picture. Thank you.